Good morning. Welcome to the Brown Bag Gentleman. Sunday shave, as you can tell, because I'm wearing a white t-shirt for underneath my dress shirt with tie. And today's tie will be different. Today's tie will be special. It's a once a year tie. It's my tartan tie to celebrate my anniversary. <laughs> so we'll be doing that today. Um, but as promised, I am going to show you the razor that I unboxed this previous, earlier this week. The Goodline Razor. Distributed it in New Hampshire. And here's a look at it. Very shiny. Good amount of heft to it for, for an inexpensive razor. This razor was less than $15 at CVS. This is a CVS distributed razor. And of course I already have my Gillette Silver Blue. I know usually I do the Astro, but this razor is real mild. So even with that, it's real mild. So we'll get to, we'll get to, cut to the chase on that, let you know it is a very mild razor. Uh, so probably should be good for beginners. I'm telling you, if, if especially beginners who just don't want to spend the thirty bucks for the for the Gillette over at Walgreens for you know half that price, gets you in. This gets you into the ball game. Between the two, yeah, I'd rather have the the Gillette. Truth from, from my own personal opinion, I just think it's a better shaver. Uh, not quite as mild as this, but this is real mild. So if you've got sensitive skin, all and you just you're timid about getting into it, yeah, do the good line. And today's soap will be my classic, one of my four Phoenix soaps that I that I have that I like to save for Sundays. Alphine, if you can see that, Alphine, the finish. I think it's Spanish or finish. Very pleasant scent, very pleasant scent. Like a light, springy, summery scent. Very, you know, a little sweetness in there, of course, but but just really pleasant. Oh yeah, it's just a very light, light scent. Light and pleasant. And it's funny to say the word light with a, with a phoenix <laughs> soap because his scents are usually so much stronger than everybody else's. But as, as his go, this is very light. So it's just light and fresh, it's just nice, just nice. So of course, I'm just coming out of the shower, so we're just gonna wet the face. I'm not gonna wash it because I've already washed it. Hot towel out of the sink. There we go, They're just you know, soaking wet. Now, and of course we're using the Sterling Bore Brush today. Still getting used to this, doing things a little different, not really ready, ready to tell you about the nuances that I'm doing differently with it yet, till I figure out, you know, I just wanna use it a little bit more. It's tougher for me to get back into a bore brush. You know, when I was first starting out, Every, every penny counted, so the bore was the way to get. And of course, I got the one that's from was from the drugstore. You know, the, the green handle. You know what I'm talking about. The one you started with too. <laughs> and that one, as I recall, I mean, I'm just going from memory here, and that goes back away. That's back about a dozen years. I want to say it was less um, scritchy than this one. That one, of course, it's bore. It's scritchy. It, they, they all are. And this is this one's been soaking for a good ten minutes. You know, basically while I showered and brushed my teeth and everything, so it's been soaking for. And it's and actually, it's not all that scratchy. I mean, I can tell if you choke, poke yourself with it. Yeah, it's a little scratchy, but when you're painting on, you know, it's it's not that bad. You can feel the the hairs are coarser. I mean, especially something as luxurious and soft as the cashmere knot from AP Shape Co. That thing is just gorgeous. Uh, and so this, yeah, this is remarkably different than that, but. But this ain't bad. I mean, I, I like it in my rotation. I do. Just to have that variety, to feel the difference, and to basically, you know, just to have the ability for the different ones, different hairs, and kind of know how to use them. Obviously, the soap is real thick and and nice. You have lots of soap in there. Well, let's just kind of show you all that. So, yeah, it made up a nice soap. I mean, loads and loads of soap. That's there's so much soap. And there was a little disclaimer. There was a little bit left in the bottom of this of the of the cella. Not that it made a you know, real significant difference, I can tell you, but it just a little bit. There was a little bit of residual left. But Phoenix soaps just—they just always, they always lather up. They always are very nice. Always have good slickness. I mean, and say the stuff I have is not the CK6, it's the CK1 stuff. So before, you know, so it's not the latest. 
and it is still so stinking good. It just is. So if you want to try a Phoenix Shope and you see some of those that are $35 for a set instead of $45, yeah, go for it. It's good soap. There we go. Pass one is done. Oh, no, it's not. Still got under the nose. And you know what I use for under the nose. Warming up now. Leave twig. I have promised to lend this to Father Craig. So maybe next weekend. Hey? Won't be today. Because I need time to disinfect it and all that. So there's just not enough time to report church today to do all that. Of course, this razor is good on the rest of your face too. <laughs> I just save it specifically for this time of year when I'm growing facial hair. I save it for under the nose because it just does a good job. I am interested in the the one they're coming out with, the, the, the Leaf Thorn, which is more aggressive version of this. So yes, I am interested in that, especially for all face. Shave. I've seen some of the videos of some of the big name shaving guys there on the videos who've already tested it. I'm kind of waiting for, we've got the tester I want to really see. Oops, this needs a little bit more water, bear with me. Dip the tips in the water. And you'll be able to tell it too when it needs more water. When it's starting to feel a little dry going on, you know, yep, add, add a little bit more water. Just dip the tips in the, the sink water. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so back what I was saying. Leaf thorn. Some of those big names have already tested that thing. You know, they get the pre-production samples because they're big names and a lot of people watch them. Not like my little channel. <laughs> And some of them I can't tell yet, but I'm waiting for Ken Shaving and BSing. He's the one I want to see review that. I mean, I enjoy Chris Baker from IMCDB. I watch him all the time. I don't watch I don't watch his straight razor shaves because I'm just not a straight razor kind of guy. I've got one. You'll see me use it once, maybe twice a year at most. I'm just not into him. I like the e-shaving. So I watch him and I watch him a lot. And I really enjoy him. Positive comments back and forth. But I think he's, his face is a little tougher, even this old stinking mug. Um, so, so, he, so when he says something, you know, when he's talking about mildness and all that, he can get away. Gay, to me, it seems like he can always get away with more than I can get away with for as far as how aggressive a razor is. He says efficient, I know. I say aggressive. <laughs> Because when they're that, when they when they will rip your face apart, yeah, that's aggressive. <laughs> um, so, um, so I can't really tell on that one. He seemed to enjoy it, which intrigues me. Absolutely does. Because he'll tell you, he'll tell you if he likes it, doesn't like it. He'll he'll tell you. But I say I think Ken from Ken Shaving BSing, or even Ken Surfs there. Well, maybe not even Ken Serves. Ken Shaving, I think Ken Shaving BSing is his skin type is more like mine. And you'll you'll latch onto the guys who skin seems to be more in line with yours as far as how sensitive it is, well, how much blade it can take, how much aggressiveness it can take. So if I'm one of them, great. I hope this helps you out. But yeah, so I want to see somebody whose skin is a little, little more sensitive just as far as being able to, what they can take. So I want to see Ken Shaving and BSing. So Ken, if you're listening... If you watch me at all, <laughs> um, yeah, if you get your hands on one of those, I'd like to see you share that video. There's another guy, another guy that I haven't seen make videos in six months to a year, Trevi B. I miss Trevi B. Just a regular guy, just giving you his honest opinion, doing things a little different. Not sure he could deal with the haters so much. But I certainly was not one of those. I like Trevi B. He would show you some, a good variety. I mean, he really took the effort. You could tell he put effort into it. Good variety, more effort than I put in, I'll be honest. <laughs> this is one take and done. There is no editing. You're on my cell phone, that's it. 
But hey, I hope you're proud. I went to the, the landscape mode instead of the portrait mode. And this good line is doing a efficient job. It's doing a good job for light, for mild razor. It's working. I'm telling you, it's working. I think for, yeah, for a newer shaver, this would be good. Stretch your skin and get that off there. There we go. Yeah. 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 There. And done. That worked good. Sweating a little bit today in the, in the, in the bathroom. The door closed. The fan is off. And it's going to be in the 90s. I think it's 70-ish right now here in North Carolina. But muggy. It's summertime because the muggies have hit now. It is muggy now. It's, it's what it is in the south in the summertime. Okay, we're going to rinse it off my cloth, rinse off the face. Take the drain the sink, rinse that off a little bit too. There we go. Okay, turn the... So this is warm water in the washcloth, but I just turn the sink to cold to get that cooler. forehead. There, 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 there. Now I'm just going to rinse the cold water out of the sink. All right. I'm just drying the face off. Nope, the towel's right here. I got one. There. There, put that there. Move that out of the way. Oops, move that out of the way. Come on, put it right there. Okay. Okay. There's cucumber. Usual. After shave, matching after shave, Alphine. See, I've had it for a little while. It's in my rotation every Sunday, so for them, so basically it's used like once a month. Yes, yeah, 20 years old. It is. Oh, Alphine, it's just light, fresh, I guess a mild citrusy, maybe a little bit. Just a mild, very mild. Very pleasant. I like pleasant. I like to have that. And of course, and that tones down from the alcohol evaporation. Oops, in there. Well, I'll put, that, I'll put that away afterwards. All right, guys. Came out good. Say my wife and I are celebrating our anniversary today at church. At our church, St. Francis, they do recognize you on your anniversary. Everybody stands up and all that. So my wife and I like to wear our Tartan, so yes, I'll be wearing the tartan sash and all that. And in fact, if you can hold a minute, maybe I can show you this. We'll see. Hold on one sec. Okay, guys. Adjust the camera here so you can see how I'm going to church today. So we have the, the Bruce Tartan <laughs> on today. So that's what we're wearing for our wedding anniversary. We do this every year on our wedding anniversary. We just put the tartan on as the day we were married. <laughs> just thought you might get a kick out of it. I don't know if you did or not, but thought you might. I know my wife and I do, so I hope you enjoyed and go with God. <laughs>